happened to be Pushy, though. He, he, he. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, today is the last Friday of the month, which means it's time for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with our plant-powered pianist. You have to say that slowly and carefully, or you could say something you're not supposed to say on the air, Dr. Gustavo Tolosa. And today he's going to be making something with a very cool title, The Edible Fountain of Youth. Please welcome him to the show. Oh, Edible Pot of Youth. Well, Fountain of Youth, Pot of Youth, both sound good. It's it's great. Thank you, Chef AJ. And, and thank you, everybody, for, for joining. I really appreciate it. It's always fun. I look forward to the challenge every month to make something that is um, I love. I've gone into the simple meal uh, platform <laughs> because of lack of time, not because I don't like to cook, because I love to cook. Every now and then I can make something a little more elaborate. So um, I don't know about you, but I want to keep looking. I want to look young, okay? Like Chef AJ here. Uh, I'm almost 60 years old. I'm 59. I hope uh, I don't look like I'm 75. Okay, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But um, anyway, so this uh, this month I decided I love kabocha squash. Okay, Chef AJ introduced me to that, and um, I just love it. So. Um, let's see. Let's get started. We're going to do a little bit different this time, and then I have a nice surprise somewhere in the middle. So you will need a kabocha squash or some kind of squash that is rounded because I call it the, the, uh, the edible pot of youth because there are so many antioxidants and anti-aging veggies in there with, uh, with all the fiber and water that keeps us you know, uh, uh, satiated and also it helps with um, detox. So hopefully it will give us all the energy and the youth that we need. And uh, it's a beautiful, it comes out beautiful. Um, it's, it's a nice thing to do for a party or when you have people over or just for you. So I am um, using kabocha squash, but you can use any other squash. The one that I bought is, a, is about four pounds, okay, because I want it to fit in the instant pot, and, um, but it doesn't have to. If you wanted to do a bigger one, you could use a regular pot. You'll see what I, okay, so this is how it goes. You've got to get this uh, kabocha squash a little bit softer. As you know, it has a very, very hard, you know, tough skin. So uh, you don't want to cook it really. You just want it to be a little soft. So what you do is you put the kabocha squash. Let me see here. In the instant pot, okay? And Again, you don't have to use the instant pot. You can use something else. I put it here for five minutes. That's all I need for it to get soft enough that I can cut the top and I can scoop out the inside. To make this uh, a little bit shorter, I went ahead and I've already put it for five minutes. So what I'm going to do now it's start the surgery, okay? <laughs> I feel like a surgeon because I have my instruments there. So I'm going to move this closer now to the counter. Give me a second so that I can move. Hold on. So you do yours for five minutes. I do mine for 10 in the Instant Pot. And I actually have a basket that uh, makes it really easy to pick it up. But I'm using the eight quart Instant Pot. But if you haven't tried kabocha squash, please do. It's probably my one of my favorite things to eat in the whole world yes it is it really is so um let's see let's see i need to know if you guys can see that or actually i think that's too low i'm going to move you without making you sick <laughs> okay uh, yesterday i had dr gregor on he was on the treadmill and i was getting like Ooh, see, yeah, see. that's a little too much. <laughs> okay, so can you all see that? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Very good. Well, so 
Here is five minutes in the instant pot to get it a little bit softer. And I'm just going to cut um, the top, okay? And uh, about that much. So this will be the hat, okay, to put back in there. And now I have, you can use this, something like this scoop. And I have, this is sh sharper than this one, but I'm gonna start with this one. And I'm just going to scoop out. Um, as, as I was doing the other day one, I was thinking, I feel sort of like a doctor, I mean, like doing surgery and scooping out something uh, out, or maybe I am, I have a phobia for dentist, okay? I don't do well in dentist, so. <laughs> me too, me too. I was thinking that this will be a tooth and uh, I'm scooping out the cavity, okay? <laughs> Doesn't sound good, but oh, the imagination is going. So you see, I'm getting all of the, stringy part and the seeds out. But I'm leaving the, as all the flesh in there because we want to eat that. And um, it's pretty easy. So for me, it works really well to cook this um, squash for five minutes. It's just right, okay? All right. I'm going to take some of the, uh, there's some stringy part there and uh, seeds, I'm taking that off. Okay, so I um, just want to remind everybody, I, re I would love for you to be um, part of my uh, mailing list, which I only use once or twice a month. And if you'd I think AJ is going to later put the link to my YouTube, to my um, website. Yeah, everything's and, in the show notes already. Whatever you gave me, it's already there. It's clickable, the links, your website, your YouTube, your Facebook, your Instagram, and your right. music website. So it's all right there. If you could just go below show notes, guys, show notes are right underneath the YouTube box that you're watching this on. You just have to sometimes click see more. Right, right. So you can sign up for my um email list and uh, or you can also be part of my youtube channel so what i'm going to do here is i chopped half an onion and i'm going to put it in there it could be um, a um, red onion this was a yellow onion and since i love garlic this is a half of a whole uh, head of garlic right here. Okay, so I'm gonna, and I'm putting it whole. And, um, okay, so now, let's see here, the other ingredients that I'm using is one fourth cup of corn. This is actually fresh corn that I put in the instant pot and then I got the grains off of it. So this is one fourth cup of corn. And um, this is half cup of mushrooms. This is the part that if you don't like mushrooms, leave them out and you can put more of other ingredients. You're going to see what else I use. Okay. And I start pressing because we need to fit a few more things here. So at that time where about half of it is filled, I add some of my favorite, uh, you know, condiments here. And I'm going to put one teaspoon. This is smoked paprika, one of my favorite things. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of smoked paprika all over that. And the secret ingredient here that makes it have this je ne sais pas, uh, je ne sais quoi flavor 
and it is one eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of nutmeg here. This really uh, brings the flavors out. And also, I'm going to put one teaspoon of another favorite spice of mine, which is curry. Okay, so a teaspoon of curry. You could use spicy curry or regular curry. And that, there it goes. Okay, and then I continue. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to put uh, the rest of these, which is um, I'm going to put a fourth of a cup of red bell peppers, a fourth of a cup of green bell peppers. Fourth cup of celery. This is another one that is a, gives it a really good flavor. And I am pressing it down now. This will uh, reduce later on. Okay, so you want to push it down. The other thing that gives it a really good flavor is leeks. So this is some chopped leeks. Everything is in a one fourth cup, so that makes it easy. I have some um, yellow peppers, they're sweet, so that's another fourth cup. And finally, green onions. But before I add them, I'm going to put the other spices, which is here, um, a little bit an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin. If you like cumin, you can put a fourth of a teaspoon. I'm gonna put a little more. That's yeah. so cool. So you're not cooking the vegetables that go in it, the filling. No. Right, because this is going to go in the oven at 450, or like I tried it once, uh, they were grilling um and it was a grill outside and and it was all uh, next to this there were a lot of coals and it was grilling so you want this to actually be the pot where it cooks with all the flavor of the kabocha squash and the juices but let me let me uh, so um what was the other oh i'm going to put a little pepper i know that i think uaj is your little your allergic to pepper if I, Yep, black pepper. Yep. Okay, so I have carrots here, but let me see if I can fit some carrots. Yeah, I can push up. You could then try other things. I just find that these vegetables that I'm using are the pro, they just have a great, it's a great combination. So finally, what I'm going to do is add the green onions or scallions and what i think is a really good final touch some chopped parsley wait is that is that fresh parsley this is fresh parsley yes oh because it was in a little bag i thought maybe it wasn't and there's a question what kind of mushrooms are you using um those are the um um portabella and you put them in raw, right? I everything raw, and the the mushrooms I didn't chop them too too small. Everything is chopped uh, kind of small, but not that small. You don't want them to totally disintegrate. So basically, now this is the you know we're done. So we put this cover it. Now what we're gonna do is put this in the oven. Um, you could use a uh, some kind of a pot or something to put this in that can go. I have a clay pot um, that I use, but it's being used now, so I can't show. It's a clay pot, and I place this in the clay pot, and I put uh, underneath, I put some um, uh, aluminum paper. 
that will come up so that the heat will also come up. But if you don't want to use aluminum, don't, don't use it. Um, but I think it's important to put it in some kind of a, of a pot. So that's what I, you'll see it in just a minute. So the oven is at 450 right now, and this is going to go there. And the only thing here, I guess, is that you have to have time so that, let me here so you can see me, so that, um, because it takes, you have, at about four, 30 minutes or so, you take this out, you open it, and you will see that things have already reduced and you have more room. At that point, you could add either more parsley or you could add some more corn. Uh, I did that. You could add something else because it's going to have to go back in the oven for another 45 minutes or so. Um, this depends on the kind of pumpkin that you will get. So you have to check it every half hour or so. So the one I made took almost two hours. So in the meantime, you know, I was I took a shower. I was uh, answering emails. I practiced. I did something. So um, you don't have to be there watching it all the time. But you want it to be uh soft but not falling apart and then at about an hour long i could see everything bubbling so everything was cooking inside then you're going to scoop that out and, we're, and you're going to see it but now we're going to use some magic okay we all like magic i guess i don't know i do uh, so we're going to use the um uh we're going to use some of the um, technology here, the magic of TV and the magic of music. And instead of two hours, this is gonna be only like uh, five minutes, okay? Because I already cooked one that is in the oven and it's almost ready to take out. So you're going to be able to see the final product. Otherwise, this show would last two hours long, which is not uh, possible. Um, so I have a surprise. My mother is visiting me, and she is also a pianist. And so we're going to play for you like a three-minute piece. And while you listen to this fun, uplifting, fast music, then this is going to end uh, cooking, and then we can come back and try it. How about that? That so, sounds great. Is that where you, okay. did you learn? Did your mother teach you how to play the piano? Uh, no, she was wise. I'm walking through my house here and she sent me to a teacher because when a, a parent sometimes it's not the best choice for teaching. Uh, but, but she, she monitored me, let's say. My mother is 82 years old, but look how... Oh my gosh, she looks amazing. Yeah. Her name is Raquel. I and, met her. She looks beautiful. Yeah. I met her in Vegas, but she she looks she's getting younger. Hey, Gustavo, <laughs> Joyce would like to know if she could cook the whole thing in the Instant Pot once it's stuffed. Well, you can. I just find that uh, the slow roasting um, and baking of it brings out some flavors some, that, that you don't get I don't, in the instant pot. Not that it's worse, better or worse, it's just a different flavor. So um, I, I like to bake it, but if you're pressed for time, uh, you know, use the instant pot, yeah. Now, if you do it in the instant pot, um, you're probably going to have to put it for, a, you're gonna have to maybe not more than five minutes because then, it, you know, AJ, it, if, it, if it stays there too long, it really falls, up. everything falls apart. Um, so I don't, uh, don't know. It gets um, bushy. It does. Well, this is a very short but fun piece of music that we're going to uh, play in a concert next time. It starts with a waltz and then it goes into this fast uh, uh, tempo. Okay, so here we go. I hope you enjoy it.
Bravo. That was amazing. How do you do it when you're both at the same? I thought you were each going to play a separate piano. How do you coordinate two, four hands on one set of keys? Yeah. So this is called uh, music for one piano, four hands. And for music for four hands is very common for piano. And yeah, it takes a lot of work because sometimes we uh, we elbow each other or we scratch, <laughs> so it's a uh, you have to. Well, actually, yeah, there is some. Um, There's uh, got to be some coordination going because you have to play the right thing at the right time. And sometimes you have to make notes on the score. You know, like okay, go under because I have to go under her hands or or she or I have to go over. You know, things like that. Yeah. So that is really you know that I, I I go to this place called Rancho La Puerta. I've been teaching there for many years, and I often get massages there. And there's one that I haven't tried. It's actually two masseuses. It's called the Four Hands. Two people, Four Hands massage. Oh That's wow! I mean, everyone's saying Raquel, how young you look. Yeah, we well, they think it's the Thank you so much. <laughs> you're welcome. You look beautiful. Well, your your mom eats this way too, right, Gustavo? Yeah, oh yes. It's the potato. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Do you Gustavo, do you do you prefer living in Argentina or do you miss living in the United States? I I have to say that I miss uh, a, a lot when I'm here and miss uh, there. And then when I'm there, I start to miss here. So the arrangement that I have, which is going back and forth, is, um, it's, it, it's working for now. It, it would be difficult for me to, to stay in just one place. Yeah. Wow. Um, Stephanie says, have you and your mother ever recorded your piano playing and shared it for others to listen somewhere? You're both terrific piano players. Do you, you have some CDs, I believe. I do, but they're by myself or with other musicians. But in my YouTube channel, the one that is uh, under my name uh, or Plantemus, or, uh, they, uh, there is a playlist that says Gustavo's Music. And there are some videos with my mother there. Yeah. Nice. Yes, and um, it's the food is almost done, but I want to um, just give a little bit of a, like a 30 second invitation here. Um, if uh, I, I do every other month, I do a little program. It is kind of intense because I log in three times a day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we spend the week together and uh, we learn to make simple meals and um, and how to stay compliant and things like that. So if you want to uh, join me for the next one that starts next week, please let me know. And did you give me that for the show notes as well? I mean, I know you gave your yes, website, I, but, I, but it's, uh, yeah, because that's on my website. Yeah, okay. so. If you want, you can provide a direct link to register and we can certainly yeah. add that, you know? All I want really, because I myself have, so, you, I mean, I, I suffered for many years, as you know, many of us, AJ, with weight and addict and food addiction. And so I know what it is like, and it's painful and frustrating. So I try to, um, to, to have ways to help people financially. So give them a scholarship or a discount. I can't do it for everybody, but if um, I, I, that's, I, I really want to help. So. Thank That's you. coming up, but um, let's get back then and see because I'm anxious to know. I um, haven't tried this. I mean, I tried it, but somebody else made it and they made it on a grill. And so I want to see. I'm sure it's going to taste great because everything in it is yeah. good. So let's see. Let me put this back in here and let me so here's the oven no okay so this is kind of hot so this is going to go in the oven we will clear this a little bit now that that's one serving, right? <laughs> well, probably for me it would be because I know that when I start eating it, I'm not going to be able to stop. 
You know, people don't realize how delicious winter squashes are, and they're actually lower in calorie density than even most fruit. They're about 200 calories per pound. I know, and um, it's so creamy, and I don't know, it has that very sweet flavor to it. So let me see. Can you see well, or should I get closer? I can see it. Yeah, I can see it pretty good. Okay, so look how nice. And... It's a little warm, but I can do it. No, I can't. Let me bring something straight to them. We'll take the lid off of it. Oh, yeah. My goodness, this is so, this, if, you could, if you could smell this, Wow, okay, so let me get the plate and a big spoon. We're just gonna spoon out and the actual squash with the filling. And of course the colors are, mmm. Okay, yeah, it's, it's perfectly cooked and those spices are so yummy now what i do what i will do with this is eat it with i have a big salad already made um, or i make my uh, kale saute which is kale onions garlic and mushrooms and i would have my greens that way but i always like to have greens with everything that i eat as you know as much as possible sometimes may not be possible, but in, I always like to have greens. So, okay. You could plate it a little more carefully and beautifully. I guess it could be also served with rice, but I really think I really like to have greens with my meals. So let me try it. This is going to, I, this is the first time that I make it. So this is true now. I'm not gonna fake any <laughs> flavors here. Let's see how it tastes. Um, I'm going to get a bite that has the kabocha squash and as much as of everything as possible. That looks like a good one right there. Yum. Mm. Hey Jay, this is a winner. Uh, I have people over tonight, so I have this one, then I have the other one, and I have my other things that I was making, so this is going to be, a gr I think they're going to love it. So yeah, you have the red bell peppers, the yellow, the green, the corn gives it that crunch and taste. Um, and, and, and are you eating it straight from the squash bowl? Like the squash is your bowl, right? Yeah, yeah, that would be the other thing that I thought I would do is to take this out and maybe cut it in slices and serve it on slices. You know, that would be another another. If you have eight, if you have eight people coming, you're not going to make eight of those, right? No, I'm making I'm making two of them. But because I have other things, I have my saute and I have salad. Um, I have rice, so you have other things to accompany. Nice. But this is what I was telling you. This is um, a really nice, uh, yeah, uh, baking dish, and that's what I use. And it's totally clean because I use this paper. And you can see the juice there. I'm going to save that. <laughs> but yeah, I can cut this in slices. You see, it cuts so easily. I don't know if I will. Oh, wait, we actually can't see it. Your your camera has oh. moved. So oh, we oh. okay. There you go. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So you can cut it. And oh yeah. It, yeah. And I don't know if the skin is soft enough to eat it, but you could save it to make the kabocha soup that you as a mm -hmm. have in the book that is amazing 
Yeah, because kabocha squash skin is completely edible. Yeah, it is. And uh, so if you want it uh, to have you know, some salty flavor, you can use our wonderful Benson Stable Tasting. And, uh, uh, Dina would like to know if you still run an Airbnb or retreat from your home in Argentina, and if so, have you ever had anyone from Canada? I oh yeah, I do. I actually have people coming tomorrow, but I haven't. I have not had anyone from Canada, so I need to have my first Canadian come visit. Okay, okay Dina, <laughs> sign, sign her up. Hey, do you throw the skins away? No. No. I mean, not the squid, the seeds, the seeds. Because yes, Dina, you can eat the skin. The skin is actually delicious. Actually, actually, I have become quite a fan of planting my own garden. So I have, I have pumpkins in my garden, and I have kale, and I have peppers. I, I have a lot of things. So um, I am saving the 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 seeds because I guess you could toast. I mean, once they're dry, you could toast them if you want to eat pumpkin seeds, or uh, you can save them and plant them. But yeah, I mean, sometimes it's just too many to save. But so yeah. here's, the, here's the, the piece, you see? Yeah. If you can't find the show notes, you either have to refresh your screen or you just have to go right under the video and it says click more or, or the words more. But I promise you they're there and I'm looking at them right now. So why don't you call it the edible pot of youth? Well, because, you know, it is a pot. I see, I see, I see the the kabocha as a pot, and it is edible. You know, you, you can eat it. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, and then I think that this provides so many uh, uh, anti-aging ingredients that I think that it's going to help for yeah. aging. No, it looks so delicious. I got, I got a bite of this uh, um, slice that I took, and it has part of the skin. Hmm, actually, the skin of this particular one is thin enough that I, I can eat it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything more delicious than kabocha squash. And you know how much I love sweet potatoes. I need to get some, I need to eat it more often. So it is my yeah. favorite. Kathleen says, I have made something similar using wild rice and baby kale or spinach and eat the whole thing. That sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah I thought of putting rice. And then I decided, no, I'm just going to go with all vegetables and then I could make rice on the side. But it would be good because it would get all the flavors of everything else. Yeah, she, it, Dina's, oh, saying, Dina's in Canada. She says it's not available here all the time. I guess we're lucky, at least in California, it's all year round. Yeah, I have it here all the time. Yeah. And, but you, but there are others that you could try. This one is so creamy. It's like eating. No, it's like, yeah. Well, Marlary says it reminds me of pie. Kabocha is delicious. Tina says it looks delicious. No fair share. People are saying, yeah, yeah. You got me craving kabocha squash. It's so. <laughs> and you know, a lot of times if I have air fryers, I mean, if I have leftovers, I just maybe air fry it a little bit after it's been yeah. cooked. Yes. Yes. Well, I the the your kabocha soup. Uh, it's um. It's something that I make often because everybody that I awesome. make. We made that at your home in Dallas and we had. We created, that, that's the Dallas we created that in your kitchen in Dallas. It went in my book and we uh, served it to Dr. Lyle when he came over. That's Wait, right. why the heck was he in Dallas? I don't even remember. But because it, was, it was because it was that conference that we were. Oh, at. nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Dina's yeah. pointing out that True North are big fans of squash during refeeding. Yep, absolutely. Well, they're so healthy and delicious. I think they're daunting for people because they are hard to cut when they're raw, you know, yes. for a lot of people, like me included. But like if you cook them and like you did soften them in the instant pot, even if you're going to roast them in the oven, it's such a great trick. I think that even three minutes will do it because you only need it to get a little soft and then and then it it's easier to cut. Three, four minutes, we'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, if you want to give me the link to your upcoming program so that people can, you know, people like it easy, like they don't want to have to look. So if you click at it and if you, you want to talk about it yeah. more, so they, they get together with you three times a day. Is there any ongoing support? Are they in a group together? Do they see each other? Yeah. The way that I, that I have configured this is that we all log in live, but those of those people who cannot log in live, 
Uh, it's okay. I always have the replay right after the each session. How do I give you the link? I don't know. Well, you like, pretend like you're going to register and then you oh, cut and paste. I, I, I put it right here in the comment, I guess. You can put it in the chat and then I can put it in the chat or yeah, if you put it in the Zoom chat, I can put it in the big chat. Okay. See, I, put, I put it right now in the Zoom chat. Okay, Let me get it. Perfect. And then I just going to click out and then I'm going to put it now. Perfect. And I can put it in the show notes and in the live uh, chat that's going on right now. There you go, guys. If you want to click on that, you get more information. And since I look great in red, thank you. I think it's because I'm an Aries. It's funny. People tell me I look good in red, but it's not my favorite color. Purple. Purple's my favorite color, though. Yeah. Yeah. You look but, I, good. But, but, but red, yeah, suits me. Red and pink, supposedly. And I like that. I've never seen that. I know. Yeah. Isn't it a crazy shirt? It's like five bucks. I just, you know, can't wear it all the time, but it's, it is kind of a fun shirt, you know? <laughs> it is. It is. Wow. Yeah, it is a little crazy. So, uh, uh, Gustavo, you have a book coming out at some point, right? That's right. Yes. Shada and I decided to put together a book with her story. Um, you know, she has a lot of Persian, um, recipes and meals and I have some Argentinian ones and of course we both have lived in the U.S. most of our lives so we have the American uh, food as well so we're putting together this sort of international uh, cookbook slash story, story book <laughs> so we tell a little bit of our stories and how we ended up in the U.S. and how we ended up in the whole food plant-based and of course everybody seems to uh, come from uh, either AJ here or Dr. McDougall. You know, we all got to know each other from um, uh, being in events or being introduced by you, AJ. So uh, thank you. Of course. When uh, when will you have any idea when it will be released? And, in and, um, yeah, yeah. So it's going to be released either electronically for those of you who may, you know, live in another country or in paper. And it's now going into the ed editing part. And so we hope that, you know how it is, AJ, you never know exactly the date, but it's, it's going to take another three months or so, but we will let everybody know. Yeah, and well, maybe it'll coincide with when you're coming on the show. So three months now is May, June, July. Oh boy, remember July is uh, when- um, okay. no, maybe, I think three months is a little bit ambitious. Um, it's probably going to be more than, more like, you know, five or four or five months. So. Do you have a title for the book yet? Uh, well, we, I do, but I'm not supposed to share that. Okay. Yet. All right. Well, then don't, we don't want to. Well, you know what? I'm going to, we're, I'm going to save it for your show. So okay, next, great. Terrific. Well, this yeah. is a very simple, easy recipe, short and sweet, just like yeah. your, just like your piano playing short and sweet. Short and sweet. That's what I like. I just like, I know how busy we all are and that other people that may not be busy, but they don't really like to cook. So if we could get, stay on this way of eating um, with the really delicious food, which is, I think is one of the most important parts. We have to like it. And then if it's simple enough that we don't have to be out there in the kitchen hours and hours, we're more likely to stay compliant on the wagon. So nice nice well guys yeah, thank this you was fun so uh next month what's next month this is uh this is april so may you're coming on after mother's day but i think you're coming on before memorial day is that but that you probably don't celebrate memorial day in argentina no we have an, another memorial day but it's a different yeah it's a yeah. different year um Here, this coming monday is labor day so oh Labor Day? Okay. Here is Labor, Labor Day. Day. It's always on May 1st in Argentina. That's interesting. May 1st. Well, Labor Day is in September here, the first Monday ah. of the month. And um, Anne would like to know where your mother Raquel lives. She lives, I live in this little mountain town. The, um, and then she lives in this city of Cordoba. The state is called Cordoba. And the city is like New York, New York. Okay, Cordoba, Cordoba. Cordoba is like 3 million people, and she is a city person. She likes the city, and I don't. <laughs> it drives me crazy to 
the traffic and the honking and everything else. So. Yeah. So uh, Dina says, what are you making for your birthday? But your birthday's in January. Yeah, my birthday was January 26. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I don't even remember what I made, but it, I did have people over and I made a lot of things and they are every nobody knows that we eat plant based. So mm. they brought things. Um, Fatima is watching live and says, I would love to be vegan, but I veggie and I'm rubbish cook at veggie. I get fed up just soup, soup. So, I mean, but veggies aren't harder to cook than animal products. Probably easier, I would say. So. Oh, then you need to take my program and I'll show you. Okay. Yep. Click the link, Fatima. <laughs> he'll, he'll teach you how to do. And also, hey, I mean, Jeff AJ has um, two amazing books with easy, wonderful recipes. Yeah, especially yeah. if you have an instant pot. All right. Well, terrific. Well, anyway, so thank you so much. Hey, do you ever make anything that's like a traditional Argentinian dish? Like it's just completely traditional. Uh, yeah, well, it's hard because everything that is traditional has uh, meat and, and different kinds of meat. And so um, it's, it's hard. Um, I really don't. There is, a, there is a stew that is famous that is eaten on May 1st, so it's coming up. And I have made it vegan and it's called Locro, L-O-C-R-O. And it is... It has so many types of uh, beans and vegetables and spices. It's delicious, but it's too complicated for me. It's too much work, so yeah. I just don't. Don't blame you. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing you again next month with a recipe and maybe a serenade. Yeah, yes. Don't expect me to sing because... <laughs> hey, Joyce would like to know how many years have you been vegan? 10 now. 10 that's pretty good yeah it's been 10 years i can't believe it wow, yeah well so i think you've inspired a lot of people to make kabocha squash even if they don't stuff it it's so good <laughs> just, you will it's love so it. good you can just bake it it's so oh, good it's, put it in it's, the instant really, pot. It, it's, it's almost like eating dessert you know I, I almost love it as i probably love it more than sweet potatoes but i'm too lazy but i have to you know sometimes they come small and sometimes they're really big but the little ones are so cute they're like personal squashes <laughs> yeah 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 i love those yeah oh barbara says um your mom has she always been vegan or is she a recent convert she became vegan the day that I returned from the McDougal program and, uh, in September of 2003. Um, I said, this is what I'm doing and I hope that you and, and, and my partner also will join me because that's what we're going to eat here. <laughs> so, that's fantastic. That's Good for yeah, you. I know. You know and they saw, they saw the change. I mean, I was shedding pounds like crazy. 10 pounds a month or more. I mean, it was insane. And so they, um, yeah, they joined me. So great. Well, thank you so much, Gustavo. Oh, thank you for having me. Good. And of course. And good luck with your next program and to all the participants. Okay. <laughs> Take care. And Thank thanks to all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow, a little bit earlier at 10 a.m. Pacific time, when my guests are Terry and Angel from Plant Based Love. And he'll be talking about how his wife saved his life. And we're saving a lot of lives, aren't we, Gustavo? Teaching them. Wow. How to and that life. is that's one of the biggest rewards of doing this is seeing the change in people's lives. Absolutely. Great. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.